And welcome to another edition of the Reed Duffy Chronicles. For the record, I'm Reed Duffy. Our first feature tonight takes us to the northern Indiana community of Mentone, whose citizens in 1996 commemorated the 50th anniversary of their most treasured monument, the incredible, indelible, non-edible egg. Mentone is a community of just under a thousand folks in southwest Kosciuszko County in northern Indiana, just west of Warsaw, where state roads 19 and 25 come together. And it would seem to me this would be the one place on earth to have answered perhaps the most profound question of our human existence. Which came first? The chicken or the egg? The egg came first in Mentone. Yes, the citizens of Mentone have a deep and abiding affection for the egg, as any visitor cruising through town on State Road 25 can attest. For their attention will soon be diverted to the seemingly mutant egg on the corner of Maine and Morgan, right next to the Lake City Bank, serving as a monument to Mentone and Kosciuszko County's lofty reputation as the egg basket of the Midwest. There was a lot of farmers that um, raised chickens and sold their eggs, and which they went and shipped them here out of Mentone to New York. And back in the early, well, I'd say probably from about 1911 on. The area's egg industry hit its stride in the 30s and 40s, with Charles and Chester Manwaring establishing a large poultry business, prompting just about every farmer in the county to set up a hen house to enhance their income through egg production, with the railroad handy by to ship them all to New York. And 1996 marks the 50th year that this very big egg was created to serve as a potent 3,000-pound testimonial to all this. No, it wasn't created by a 4,000-pound chicken, but an inspiration of one Ed Ward, then manager of the Northern Indiana Co-op Association, seeking to promote the 1946 Mentone Egg Show, then in its 11th year. He enlisted the architectural talents of builder Hugh Rickle, who designed and constructed the egg in this downtown building, catty corner from where the egg now stands, or sits. The egg consists of a series of welded steel rods wrapped in concrete plaster, and was painted and lettered by Harry Meredith to extol Mentone's egg basket acclaim. Once completed, it was now time to take this 12-foot, 3,000-pound egg on the road. After they built the egg, they loaded it onto a wagon, drove it up to Warsaw, put it on the courthouse square, and left it there for two weeks to advertise the Mentone Egg Show. And it took 12 men to load that egg onto a wagon and to unload it there. Once back from its Warsaw tour, the town fathers were not sure what to do with the big egg, finally electing to give it a downtown Main Street showcase on land donated by the Northern Indiana Co-op. And since 1984, lovingly tended and landscaped by Lake City Bank, once it became clear the egg had emerged as a genuine tourist attraction and conversation piece. We have several people that stop by in the summertime. They get out, have their picture taken with the egg, and um, they want to know if we have postcards and brochures on it. When people call, they'll say, do you really have a 3,000-pound egg in your downtown area? And my answer is always, well, doesn't everybody? On occasions, the egg receives some uninvited attention from graffiti artists, knowing it will serve as a prominent billboard for their message. But at least Mentone citizens feel secure the egg will not be a victim of an abduction. A lot of the uh, adjoining school corporations and, and a little bit of uh, rivalry have said, we're going to come down and get that egg. If they tried it, they didn't get it off the, off the ballast here. It, it stayed. It's just a little bit too heavy to do that with. In the 1950s, the area's egg industry started its decline, giving way to the giant food conglomerates. But the egg and poultry industry is still an economically important presence in the community, with the 30-year-old Mentone Egg Products Company separating the whites from the yolks of 150,000 pounds of eggs a day for use by the baking industry. And the area is still dotted by hatcheries, which now routinely turn down television taping requests of their operations, so as not to ruffle the feathers of animal rights activists crusading against the cooping up of cacklers and coops instead of allowing them to roam freely in the barnyard. But this gradual decline has not stopped Mentone from celebrating the community's lofty egg legacy with their annual June Egg Festival, made particularly festive this year in celebrating the Big Egg's 50th birthday, including the song stylings of the Old Hen Children's Choir. And a fashion tribute to the egg in all its versatility, be it deviled, fried, pickled, coddled, or eastered. Yes, a gala celebration of song and yokes to a symbol of Mentone, Indiana's identity, strength, and perseverance, an object of awe and reverence to all who gaze upon it, even as an egg with no name. It's just the big egg. <laughs> and that indeed says it all. You'll want to mark and set aside the first weekend in June for the first weekends in June to come, for that is usually when the Mentone Egg Festival is held. Next up, we showcase a celebrated athlete from Indianapolis named Oscar, and his last name is not Robertson. 